Okay, this is Mark here at Face Change Converters. Uh, today I'm going to have a look at our automatic voltage stabiliser, the AVS converter. So it's still a phase changer, which is the single phase to three phase converter. Uh, nominally these are a 240 volt in, uh, 415 volt out, but there are some circumstances where uh, for various reasons we can have dropping mains. This particular converter was originally designed for Asian market uh, but there are some applications in Australia where it's uh, it's ideal. Now, we're going to have a look at this one. It's actually showing us the current supply voltage, which is 232 to 244, coming in. It's got 15 levels, so even if this goes over voltage, it will actually pull the voltage down. If it goes under, it will lift the voltage up. This display is what's on a standard converter, the zero. It just gives us an idea of the load, and it's this number of stages um, of of phase-to-phase -phase voltage tr trimming that's done by the standard converter. Right, now what I'll have a look at up here, I'll put a few meters on here. One is our input voltage, which I've actually made adjustable through this down here, which is a, um, a rather decent sized variac. And over here, I've got our three-phase output voltage, which you're currently looking at 400 volts. So I've used analog because it's nice, uh, nice and easy to, to read. So we're looking at the number four on the black, and that shows it's 400 volts of AC. Our current idle current is 1.5 amps. Now this is a six kilowatt converter, so we have a six kilowatt pilot motor, which is just sitting down there next to us on the floor in this situation. Okay, the converter itself internally, this is our AVS board, which is an automatic voltage stabilizer. Um, we have down here, we have the uh, Face changer controller, which has got the top board and the thyristors underneath. Um, we've got capacitor banks, contactors, thermal overload, and of course on the side, we've got input breaker and output breaker, which is in this case is a combination uh, output breaker with RCD or safety switch. Okay, now what we're going to do is start a load on it, and I'm going to fire up a. Uh, it's a three kilowatt load, and you'll hear it running in the background. And you'll see the zero, the red zero, shoot up. Uh, might go to a level eight, which is a hard start, and then it will back off and find its right level. Okay, so here we are sitting at three out of possible seven stages. So the input on this one, with the load running, is now at 12.8 amps. Okay, our input voltage is at 234 volts, and my output is still on 400 volts. So it's 400 volts at three phase. Now what I'm going to do is move the voltage on the variac up and down and we'll just see what happens on the load. So if I push the voltage up to start with, and we'll just have a, we'll put our camera on there and I'll just wind the voltage up. So we might have a case where we've got some over voltage conditions and normally in an over voltage condition the converter would um, follow the over voltage, so I'm at 260 odd volts going in there now, which is uh, quite high. And our output voltage, if you look on there, is still at 400 volts. And this is showing us on, it's jumping between level 15 and level 14, it's just, uh, yeah, on the, must be right on the border, but that's fine. The converter's still running perfectly fine. And what we'll find, my meter's just gone off, gone to sleep, the, um, there's our mains voltage. Our input current, which was at 12.8 amps before, because the voltage has gone higher, it's actually reduced. So around about 11.7. Now I'm going to bring the voltage down. So there's our variac. Hold the meter on there. And let's pull it down at, say, 200 volts, which might happen if you're loading it up, loading a, a line up and we've got a bit of poor cabling or, or something. And anyway, we've got 200 volts coming into it now. Now, if we've got 200 volts, normally a converter, a normal rotary converter, or anything else, would lose a ratio of about 1.7 to 1. So that um, that would amount to uh, probably over 50 volts of voltage drop. Um, in this situation, converters, well, it's just showing a couple of volts difference. It's an indication. Still running at level 7. Our input current now has gone up because our mains voltage has gone down, so we need more current to drive it. Our output is still just sitting there, over, just over the 400 volt mark, and you can hear in the background our machine's still operating perfectly well. 
let's go further down. So there we are at 200 volts. I'll pull the mains voltage down lower. You can hear the clicking as it changes through tapping points. And now we're around about 150 volts. Coming in roughly, roughly 150 volts. At 148 or 149 coming in. What have we got on the output? We've still got just over 400 volts. Our input current to run the load, of course, has gone up. We're now at 20.8 amps. Our display over here is showing at level 5. So in 136 to 148 volt range, the display is exactly the same, showing at level 3. So the machine's still running. If I load it up a bit more, okay, I'll drop the voltage a bit more. Go down to about 110 or so. There we go. 106, 107, 108, 109. Okay, it'll actually go to about 100 volts on the load. And um, in this situation, our current's now gone up to a bit over 30 amps. This has dropped down to level 1, so it's saying 90 to 100. In fact, we're just we're a bit over that, but the indication's right. And Again, we're just over the 400 volt mark. The machine continues to run. So the beauty with the AVS system is that we can be in, in situations where we might be on a, uh, a dodgy power line or uh, cabling issues within a property and the mains voltage can be going up and down under various conditions and our load will continue to run. It stays within tolerance continues to run. So there we are sitting at 155 volts coming in and we've still got our three-phase machinery operating quite happily on the output side. So there it is again, input breaker going in there, three-phase output breaker with RCD. Start contactors, load contactors, it's a multi-tap transformer. We do something very tricky with and very special with the way that we operate the tap, tap changes and it's all done in a, with a microprocessor control. The phase changer, standard phase changer controller, which goes in all of our phase changer series, capacitor banks, and this is what makes up the AVS, the six kilowatt AVS converter. If I turn the load off now, that goes back to idle. There's our mains voltage, our output voltage, and our current, because we're so low on voltage now, the current, of course, has gone up. But the idle current on this at 240 is around about one and a half amps. So there we go, the six kilowatt AVS, we actually go up to eight kilowatts in the AVS unit.